Who Will Danny Wide Hire? Four Downs is brought to you by our good friends at Dynasty Pools and Spas. Four Downs brought to you by Dynasty Spas, the most comfortable spas made in the United States of America, right here in East Tennessee. Drop in for the all-new showroom in Athens, Dynasty Spas, perfect for all four seasons. Four Downs, presented by Off the Hook Sports. Yeah, they deliver within 125 miles, Dynasty Pools and Spas. John, you ready to jump in the hot tub with me, Caleb and Cooper? No, I'm not getting near a hot tub with you. Cooper Mays here. Hit like and subscribe. Coop here. First down. Thanks, Coop. First down, you mentioned Mulkey. Will Tennessee spend big time dollars? And you can define that as what you want to. She's making about three, over $3 million a year. I mean, that's called going all in. Will Tennessee go that all in with a coach? No, I mean, you're only talking about a few coaches in that realm. Uh, Gino Oriema, um, Kim Mulkey, Don Staley. I don't know what Tara Vandermeer Pender makes at uh, at Stanford. Uh, Vic Schaefer at Texas is is I'm sure making well over two million. Uh, but you're talking about an elite circle of coaches who wouldn't leave where they are. But I think in the I think for two million dollars, I think you can get a pretty good coach. And we just saw where Kentucky was able to hire away the Virginia Tech coach. I thought that was significant. That tells me that Mitch Barnhart, the AD, wants to win more in women's basketball. He fired uh, Kyra Elsie, another former Lady Vol, fired her after a losing season and went out and made a big, big hire. And so Virginia, I'm sure that was about money. I don't see why you would leave Virginia Tech for Kentucky. You see, on the face, it seems like a lateral move. But that tells me you got more NIL money in Kentucky and you got a bigger salary. So I think Tennessee can do that. I really think Tennessee can get a top 10 coach, wow. not a top five coach, but a top 10 coach. I want to ask a follow up on that first, Caleb. I know you got something. Yeah, um, I'm actually with. I'm actually going to go a little more extreme to the no and say I think they're going to go cheaper because I, I do think Dave has a point with the business side of it. But I, the reason I say that is – well, no, the reason I say that is because, again, I, I, I keep going back to this. Danny White's the best identifier of coaches that nobody else knows in, in, in basketball. I mean, he found Nate Oates. He found Felicia Leggett Jack. He found Katie Abrams, Abrahamson Henderson. I mean, he has found coach after coach after coach that nobody else wanted that has turned into a huge success – he probably knows some. He probably already knows a coach of women's basketball nobody else wants. That would be a smash success at Tennessee, and if nobody else wants her or him, they will probably be a very good bargain at Tennessee, and they could turn Tennessee into a very good program at the same time. Uh, Caleb, uh, you're right about that. I, I, that's what. I, and I was asking someone who's uh, knowledgeable about the sport and and about his track record. I said he might. I'm thinking he may have somebody out there that wouldn't even be on my radar or most people's radar because he's got that track record. However, I think in this case, it's not just Danny White. I think it's the chancellor, Don Day Plowman, and the president, Randy Boyd. And I think Tennessee wants – it's firing one of its own here. It's, it's firing mm -hmm. Kelly Harper, who, despite her lack of success – She's beloved by a part of the fan base because they remember her as a player on the national championship teams, three national championship teams. She was the point guard, I think, on all three. And then when Tennessee won consecutive wins in the late 90s. Uh, so there's and, – and she's very likable. So a lot of people – not everybody was happy with this move, even though it was the right move. And based on the records and what was going on, you, you needed to make the move. So I don't know that Tennessee wants to bring in kind of an unknown. I think it would rather, I think it would make like, like to make a head turning hire here. If it were just Danny white, I agree with you, but I think overall Tennessee might be looking to get a name coach. Can you tell me real quick why you don't think they can get a top five coaches? I, Caleb's got second down, but. You said top 10, but not five. And you were very specific about that. Why do you think that? Okay. Top five, Gino Oriema, 
Okay. Okay. You agree that not li- hire Gino? literally the literally the coaches are already at the at a stable spot. You're not talking about the money aspect of it. No, no. It's okay. Gino Mulkey, uh, right. Don Staley, Tara Vanderveer. That's four, and you're not hiring Vic Schaefer away from uh, from Texas. Right. I mean, there are so yeah. That's you know, I don't, I don't think. Okay, here's a here's hypothetical. What if Kim Mulkey was still at Baylor? Maybe got to remember Kim Mulkey loved Pat Summit. It's kind of her role model in coaching. So with that being said, would you call her? I think Tennessee would. With if if what I'm saying is correct, if Tennessee wants to make a splash, and it was known that Mulkey and the administration that weren't as tight as they once were when she left Baylor as she won three national titles there. I mean, it's not like Beta was going to fire, but um, I think she would be interested in the job. She would have been interested in the job. If Tennessee would have offered the same amount of money that LSU did back then, and LSU weren't even the picture, wasn't even in the picture, it wasn't an option, I think Mulkey would have considered Tennessee. A lot of it would have to do with Pat Summit because she cared, cared so much about her and she has a big ego. She's not afraid to fail. She wouldn't be afraid afraid of coaching in in Summit's uh, shadow. That wouldn't have bothered her. It's Caleb and There's, Coop. Look down. Oh, Cooper here Mays here. Second down. Go, Caleb. Um, I just want to just add one real quick thing, and then I'll go to second out. It's very quick, but there was the issue with the Baylor sex assault thing, and Kim Mulkey made some very questionable comments uh, while she was at Baylor. And given that Tennessee had just settled a sex assault lawsuit, I don't know if they would. I don't know if they could afford to bring Kim Mulkey on. I just wanted to point that out with the PR. But yeah, but um, I, I don't think that was significant enough. Okay. I, I could that's fair enough. Um, but think, John, uh, so I don't, think, I don't think any of us think that they're going to spend what three and a half, four million dollars on the women's basketball coach either. No, but if you could yeah. get the, if you could get in the best, if you could get the best coach in the country, whoever that you would think that is, and you could get them for three million dollars, why wouldn't you do yeah. it? Uh, uh, seems weird to me. Um, but no, why wouldn't uh, you? That's, that's fair. All right, what down? I mean, think, okay. but. but well, just one more thing on that. When when Tennessee kept Rick Barnes, that was a Randy Boyd move. I'm, I mean, when has Tennessee ever in its past said, oh, we're going to pay a basketball coach more than a football coach? It just wouldn't happen. You're talking about when UCLA came after him. When um, UCLA came after him, yeah. Yeah, I thought that was pretty okay. impressive that yeah. Tennessee was able to retain him. Let's keep uh, – second down? Cooper Mays here. Second down. Had a false start on that one. Caleb, go. All right. So, John, um, I'll start with you. I have thoughts on this, but uh, should Tennessee hire a former Lady Vol? Should they avoid the Lady Vol tree altogether, or does it just depend on whether or not the lady former Lady Vol is the most qualified to coach at Tennessee at the time? It didn't end the list. Well, I mean, despite the track record, if you think the best person <laughs> for the job is a former Lady Vol, then you should make the hire, but the, the only possibility there would be Carol Lawson at Duke. And to me, Carol Lawson hasn't done enough to get this job. I think she wanted the job when, when it was offered to, uh, when it was offered to Kelly Harper, but she had no track record as a head coach back then. So that kind of eliminated her. Uh, but, now she's got a track record. She's been in Duke four years. One year they cut the season out because of COVID. And the other three years, she's averaged about a little like 20 wins, a little over 20 wins a year. She's been to the Sweet 16. I For this job, I would want somebody with a better track record. And I also think, Caleb, getting back to the thing about NIL, if you've hired, if you've hired two Lady Vol point guards, former Lady Vol point guards, and you fired both of them, would you really hire a third lady of all point guard? <laughs> yeah. And especially one point. that, especially one that's just like, I think 65% won 65% of her games. Uh, yeah, that's be, just, uh, that's that, not that enough. Easy. No. And what down, Coop? Tennessee center Cooper Mays here. Third down. 
So the easy one, right, is just to throw eighteen gajillion dollars at Don Staley. She's proven she can do mm-hmm. it. That's come up on the message board. And by the way, I love the fact that there's so much interest in the Lady Balls too, because I wondered if that had waned a little bit with the recent history. But John, you're more tied in to the women's basketball game than I am. Would Don Staley even entertain something? No. That would be like asking Gino to leave UConn. She built that program from ground level. She's maintained it. She's won two national titles. She kind of does what Pat Summit did. She doesn't she doesn't really recruit so much as she just chooses. Okay, yeah, I'll take you and you and you. No, I don't need you. Uh, she's got a great team coming back. She's about to win her third national title. And she's got a she'll have a great team coming back next year. Why would she take this on? Uh, no, there's just I mean, I guess if you offered her $10 million a year, you'd think about it, but she'd think about it, but uh, I don't think that's happening. So, yeah, I mean, there are just some coaches you just can't get. Uh, you we, could you have gotten – could could UConn have hired Pat Summon away from Tennessee? If probably Gino not. had re- quit? Pro- uh, probably not. Um, I, we're we're going to get to the perfect candidate. Uh, Caleb's got that on fourth down. I remind you, they deliver within 125 miles dynasty pools and spas. You pick it out at the showroom and then you've got everything delivered to your place, including the cover, including the steps, the cover lift, the chemicals. By the way, those chemicals, less filler. They are better for your pool or hot tub. It's dynasty pools and spas in Athens, dynasty pools and spas. So I fourth down the perfect candidate who is the candidate that John would hire. Same for Caleb. 60 seconds, Dynasty Pools and Spas. Just imagine having the best spas made right here in the United States of America in your backyard. What about that? Dynasty Pools and Spas, their showroom is open in Athens right off the interstate. You can stop by and check out the best hot tubs and spas in the market. And then delivery, yes, they can do that. That's Knoxville or Chattanooga. They've got complete support, spa cover, and chemicals to keep your spa bubbling at its best. They also have pool chemicals as well. Dynasty Pools and Spas, amazing discounts for first responders, military, and even some blemish models that can save you a ton, and no one will ever notice. Mention Off the Hook Sports, get $500 off. Mention Off the Hook Sports, get $500 off. Dynasty Pools and Spas. Go to DynastyPoolsAndSpas.com or stop by that showroom in Athens. DynastyPoolsAndSpas.com. Dynasty Pools and Spas. Cooper Mays here. Hit like and subscribe. Thanks, Coop. Hey, Caleb. All SEC Center Cooper Mays here. Fourth down. Hit me. So the question is, who would Tennessee, who should Tennessee hire? And I'll start. Um, first of all, I'm going to say, can people stop with the Molly Miller thing at Grand Canyon? Yes, she is extremely attractive, but that is the most settling for not a proven coach of all time. Okay. I, I think she could be great one day, but if Tennessee goes and hires her, it's obvious they only hire her based on her looks. So no to Molly Miller. Now, (laughs) not that I already had that pulled up on my computer. (laughs) So (laughs) mine is I'm going to start and I'm going to say Lindsay Cunningham at uh, USC. I think she is, I'm not Cunningham, excuse me, Lindsay Gottlieb, Lindsay Gottlieb at USC, Lindsay Gottlieb at USC. She took Cal to the final four. Look at how bad Cal's been ever since she left. She's got USC. She took them to the elite eight. They lost last night to UConn, but she's built that program up. She has really built up. She's taken every program she's been at to heights that it really had never enjoyed before. So I think Lindsey Gottlieb is the perfect head coach that Tennessee can get that's realistic. John, I'm going Molly Miller, and you can see why. Um, she uh, has an opportunity to take her team to the Final Four in Division Two for, I don't know how long. I just look at her. All right, John, who would you select that's realistic? Well, Dave, I mean, this isn't a joke. I don't – I mean, you shouldn't be talking about somebody just because they attracted this – I talk about how attractive it's, you are all it, the time. Well, that's different. We're we're tight, but I mean, <laughs> it's very inappropriate what you're saying. So, Sorry. yeah, my number one candidate for the job would be uh, Molly Miller. <laughs> <laughs> Say who 
doing? Are you just based on her potential? I, I, I mean, I, I really don't know what she looks like, but just based on what she's done already in her potential. No. I, okay. Um, five, five years ago when Tennessee hired Kelly Harper, Jeff Walls, the Louisville coach, wanted the job. It didn't give him the time of day. I don't know if he would still want the job, but I would hire him in a heartbeat. He he's he can he's a winner. He's good with the media. He can promote. Uh, he's just been extremely successful there. Played for a couple of national titles. He can recruit. Um, so that would be my number one pick because I think of him as somebody Tennessee could get and could afford. 